So, um, in terms of general tools, uh, in, in terms of ensuring the security of our applications, our programs, our development, um, there is layering. Um, this is, uh, you know, it's a good idea not only for interoperability, but in terms of breaking down a large project into manageable chunks. Um, again, simplicity helps us with security. So if we can decompose uh, a large project into parts, and, and particularly if we can separate those parts into uh, logical layers of applications, um, that helps us a great deal. It, it also uh, provides... Um, when we when we find something wrong in uh, in the system, we don't have to address the system as a whole. We can address that particular layer. Um, we can uh, uh, sometimes replace that uh, that layer with some other technology. So uh, layering is a, um, a a very useful. Uh, part of uh, ensuring the security of our systems, as, as well as um, improving the systems overall. Uh, again, once again, you know, Spaff's dictum. Uh, secure computer is one that does what it's supposed to do. Um, this this gives us benefits in, in both areas, in, in the development of our applications and in the security of those applications. Um, in the same sense, in a slightly different way, modularity. Uh, and modularity, of course, um, allows us to uh, reuse modules for different applications. If we uh, do a good job in uh, coding a, a function in, in one application, we can reuse that module. We can reuse that in, in other applications that need that same functionality. Um, and that allows us to put in the time to make sure that, yes, that module is done properly. That function is implemented correctly and is secure. Uh, again, you know, by definition. Uh, so, uh, modularity is is a good idea, as well as the the same idea of decomposition and uh, making sure that you um, specify uh, really well uh, that particular function, what you want it to do, what the uh, possible risks are, um, what we can do with regard to uh, that particular function to make it secure, to make the overall application more secure. Uh, of course, we do have to ensure that all our modules are secure. You know, there is no point in uh, building a terrifically secure front door if we leave the back door open or the back window or, you know, whatever. So, uh, we, you know, it's, it's not a guarantee, um, but it is a useful tool. Um, Information flow analysis. This is uh, uh, honored more in, in uh, the breach than, than in the actuality. Um, uh, information flow analysis is not easy to do, particularly in our modern complex systems. Um, you know, where does information come from? Where does information go to? Um, are we... Uh, uh, making sure that it is kept confidential when it is supposed to be confidential? Are we ensuring that it is available when it's supposed to be available? Um, so, uh, interestingly, um, the uh, uh, quantum computers, uh, not on the horizon quite yet, but starting to starting to be developed starting to come um, I believe that they are going to be a, a good tool uh, for doing the information flow analysis for us 
um, uh, something that current tools are, are not particularly good at. Um, and <laughs> going from the uh, uh, modern bleeding edge to the really old-fashioned, a data dictionary. Um, we, uh, you know, as I say, um, every program is either uh, performing calculations or managing a database. And the, uh, the database systems that we have set up, uh, we, we aren't doing uh, a lot of the basics, unfortunately. Um, we, we quickly uh, throw together a database, just a, you know, an ordinary flat file database, and we think we've got a relational database when we don't. Um, we, uh, in the old days, you know, and in, in, when there was formality involved in this, you had a data dictionary that was describing um, what the what the fields were, uh, what was allowed, what was not allowed, um, what we expected, uh, what we were using, how important uh, was the information, uh, how sensitive was the information at various points, and so we. Uh, had a, a lot of um, uh, information, metadata, really, about our databases. And uh, now, you know, it, and it was all in a centralized location. So we'd have, you know, dozens of databases around the company, around the enterprise. Uh, and we could go to the data dictionary and, and find in, in a central repository a lot of the information that we would need to make risk assessments to to ensure that we were building applications with proper security because they were dealing with information of uh, this level of, of sensitivity and classification. Uh, unfortunately, uh, few companies do that anymore, and, and with citizen programming, of course, everybody is building their own databases, and it's it's a bit of a mess. We do not have that information in a central location anymore. But it really is a good idea. And we should probably go back to that. Um, uh, as in terms of central repositories, a program library. So we know what their, our programs are. Uh, uh, and standard uh, tools that, that we need to do in, in terms of development... Like parameter checking. I mean, just, you know, parameter checking eliminates buffer overflows. Uh, eliminates so many of the problems that we run into uh, when we are uh, creating our, our programs and creating problems with our programs. Um, so, uh, all of these aspects are... Uh, you know, basic tools uh, that we are going to, you know, be promoting, try to encourage our, our developers to keep on using when they are developing systems, programs, applications for our enterprise.